Why, you may ask, do they love this greasy little sandwich so much? No one was sure what was in these patties that made them so delicious. And frankly, no one cared, except for Plankton. And me. I also cared, but unlike Plankton, I figured it out. And today, I'm here to share it with all of you. The Krabby Patty secret formula is mine! And it's nothing like you'd expect. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Food Theory, the channel that's here to correct the culinary mistakes of our past. In case you've been living under a rock, which honestly would be on theme with this particular franchise, SpongeBob SquarePants is the iconic Nickelodeon cartoon all about a yellow sponge flipping burgers for minimum wage. It's got musicals, it's got memes, but most importantly of all, it's got the single most legendary food mystery in all of television, the Krabby Patty secret formula. See, SpongeBob isn't just flipping burgers, he's flipping the burger. The be-all, end-all, and underwater quick-serve concoctions. It's a burger beyond compare. A patty so good that it holds together the fabric of reality. The Krabby Patty is what ties us all together. Oh. Without it, there will be a complete breakdown of social order. Dark times are ahead. Dark times indeed. Seriously, aren't you overreacting a bit? No restaurant has ever seen lines this long. Excuse us, we'd like 3,000 Krabby Patties, please! Unless, of course, you're talking about Mr. Beast Burger, but then again, it's because every bag has, like, a chance of containing, what, $10,000 in it or something? The Krabby Patty's able to do it on flavor alone. This thing is to die for. Literally, based on this guy who's about to die from consuming too many of them against doctor's orders. I mean, if you love it so much, why don't you marry it, right? Oh, wait, that's, uh, actually less of a joke than I think. But what makes this patty so good? Well, in the show, it's kept as a secret. A secret that not even the loyalist of employees knows. How can we make more Krabby Patties without the secret formula? You've got to have that formula memorized by now! The employee handbook clearly states, and I quote, No employee may impart or in whole commit the Krabby Patty secret formula to any recorded, written, or visual form, including memories, dreams, and or needlepoint. Curse you, fine friend! Now, at face value, this shouldn't be too hard to figure out, right? I mean, it's just a hamburger. Get yourself some ground meat, slap some seasoning in there, and call it a day. Heck, the show even tells us exactly how to assemble the burger. I can't put a patty on a bun with lettuce, cheese, onions, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, pickles, and top bun together in that order! But remember, we're not talking about the condiments, but rather the patty itself. That is the lingering mystery in this thing. And for not just one, but two decades, the truth behind the Krabby Patties managed to elude even the best minds. Rival business owners are risking life, limb, and cute teeny antennae in their attempts to find out what makes this perfect patty stand out from the rest. I'll take one secret. Secret formula <gasps> to go. <laughs> And today, I've got it. Call me Plankton, but I think I solved it. After reviewing all the footage, as well as reading tons of interviews, I think I've got it locked in. The definitive recipe for the patty. Let's just say we've all been wrong about what's inside of it for a long time. Now, if you're subscribed to my other channels, you've probably noticed this isn't my first time taking a crack at the old Krabby Patty mystery. And if you're not subscribed to those, here's your friendly reminder to do that now. I actually covered this exact topic over on Film Theory a few years ago. But to be honest, I, I wasn't all that happy with how the episode turned out. At the time, I concluded that the whole secret ingredient thing was just hype. A god-tier level of marketing genius coming from none other than Mr. Krabs himself. But it just never sat right with me. I mean, no amount of marketing is ever going to make someone do this. <laughs> At least I hope not. But we're older now, wiser. And most importantly, we have ourselves a legitimate food channel. It is now my literal job to figure out how recipes work. Which means I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to finally tackle this topic with fresh eyes. Step aside, Mr. Krabs, because your secret is out. Let's start by looking at the moments in the show when we've seen the secret formula on screen. In the episode Spy Buddies, we actually get this look at the supposed secret formula. It's got math, it's got molecules, it's a formula, all right, but for what? The the formula reads quantity x minus 2 plus 1 equals Krabby Patty. The variable here though is x, not Krabby Patty. And if you solve for x, we actually get this. x equals Krabby Patty plus 1. Krabby Patty plus something. This isn't a formula for Krabby Patties. It's the formula for something made with Krabby Patties. I'm assuming it's the Krabby Patty with cheese. Something that we can clearly see is offered by the Krusty Krab. For the real Krabby Patty secret formula, we need to turn to a different episode, Krabby Road. In this episode, we get a direct look at a portion of the ingredients list and, um, 
it is absolute gibberish. I'm not kidding. One teaspoon of zwaschweigel. Four cups of gerschkirsch. Chop de fru. You might think that all these random letters are a code or a cipher, but nope, it's not. I've tried, the internet's tried. It really is just someone slamming their hands on a keyboard. Well, hold your seahorses, because when asked if the crew purposely hid the names of the ingredients to not reveal their true identity, executive producer Vincent Waller said this. Yes. He did say more than that, though. He continued with, The formula shall always remain secret. This is huge, because it confirms that while these gibberish words aren't the real ingredients, this is the real recipe with real measurements. Looks like someone may have overplayed their hand there, Mr. Executive Producer. So let's break it down, shall we? At first glance, these mysterious ingredients may look to be unidentifiable, but look again. Four cups of gish gish? That is a lot of whatever that ingredient is. Clearly, four cups of something is gonna be the patty's base. Next up, we have difgeh chopped. Well, I'm no expert in difgeh, but I have read enough recipes at this point to know that it's actually really common to see a whole onion listed as just onion instead of one onion. And what do you know, but onions are normally seen as chopped when used in patty recipes. That then leaves us with the ingredient that only needs one teaspoon. Surely I can't tell what it is just by looking at the formula, right? Right? Right. Yeah, honestly, there's no way to tell what this is based on the scene. However, we're not just limited to this one scene. There's plenty more information at our disposal. In the episode Friend we flash back to the origins of the Krabby Patty. You see, this miracle food began as something known as the Plab Patty, a patty co-created by both Mr. Krabs and his once business partner turned rival restaurateur, Plankton. In the episode, we learned that the pair worked tirelessly to craft the perfect burger, and the result was awful. The Plab Patty was proven to be disgusting dangerous and diabolical. However, in a stroke of pure luck, a series of ingredients fell into the mix which would turn this bad patty into a fab patty. And thus, culinary history was made. But what were those secret ingredients? Well, it's at this point that I should probably mention Bikini Bottom Mysteries, an official SpongeBob spinoff uploaded here on YouTube.com that investigates some of the most mysterious parts of the show's lore. Seems like a good source of information, right? It is an official extension and all. Well, that's what I thought, so I decided to check it out. In their episode covering the Krabby Patty secret formula, they focused a lot on this moment of the ingredients falling in. But their conclusion wasn't what you'd expect. They say that the Krabby Patty formula never changed from the original Plab Patty formula. That's right. The Plab Patty batter was never changed at all. The narrator then goes on to say that none of the ingredients that fell into the goop actually mixed with the original formula. They were never even taken out of their bottles. Never able to mix with the rest of the batter. Excuse me? We know for certain that at least some of them did. Look at that open bottle. Look at the new reaction that people have to the reformulated burger. It cannot be the same. The narrator then has the gall to tell us that there were six mystery ingredients that fell into the plab patty mixture, when clearly there were seven bottles and jars on the shelf. But newly uncovered footage reveals a shocking truth about those six ingredients. In short, the evidence heavily suggests that this guy is an unreliable narrator, withholding information and outright lying to us to protect the secret formula. He's gaslighting us in the hopes that we lose the patty scent. So let's instead take a closer look at what we actually see fall into the plab patty mixture. First, we can clearly see that the Krabby Patty contains chili peppers. Notice the long red here with the little caps of green. This tells us that the Krabby Patty is going to have itself a bit of a kick. Next, we have ourselves a bottle with lit fire on it. Well, this could certainly be an additional hot sauce. Those bottles tend to feature pepper imagery more than fire imagery. When it comes to fire, that more frequently appears on bottles of liquid smoke, which would give these grilled patties a bit more outdoorsy wood fire flavor. Next up, this one right here has got to be breadcrumbs. Not only are they a common binder used in a patty making process, but more importantly, look at the structural difference between Plankton's Chum Burgers and the Krabby Patty. Planktons tend to ooze around and are generally shapeless blobs of ground meat. The inclusion of breadcrumbs, though, would help the patty maintain its structure, which now leaves us with four. Four unidentifiable ingredients that literally give us no clue and look practically interchangeable. Mm, if only there was another episode out there that mentioned four almost identical ingredients. Oh wait, there is. In the episode The Great Patty Caper, because apparently the first episode titled Patty Caper wasn't enough, the ingredients turmeric, salt, flour, and barnacle shavings were explicitly confirmed to be part of the Krabby Patty recipe. We start with flour. Next we add barnacle shavings. We do the next one together, eh? 
T-shirt. Now, one of those things is clearly not like the others. Barnacle shavings? What's going on there? Well, believe it or not, but while it sounds pretty gross, in reality, barnacle shells are just calcium. And calcium is actually really good for fish. This is what's known as fortification. And it's no different than your eggs having added vitamin D or your water having added minerals. Like humans, fish need calcium to build their bones. Not a lot, but some. Like, say, maybe a single teaspoon? Thought I'd forgotten about that one, hadn't you? Well, I didn't. And a small amount of barnacle shaved calcium can go a long way. So that then takes care of our gibberish ingredients list as well as the seven jars that we see fall into the plab patty vat, which leaves us with the last and possibly most disturbing ingredient to be hiding in your Krabby Patty, chum. In the episode Friend or Foe, we see that it's definitely part of the recipe. Even in Bikini Bottom Mysteries, they close out their episode with the reveal of chum. Is that they each contain an entire pinch of chum. Of chum. That's right. The very same repulsive ingredient used at the chum bucket. Now, if you aren't up to date with your fishing lingo, chum refers to the ground mixture of fish and blood that's used to attract larger, more predatory animals like sharks. Which just doesn't seem right, does it? Is Mr. Krabs really selling his customers the ground up remains of their fellow fish? Are fish secretly cannibals? Is that why they love the Krabby Patty so much? No, no, and no. A very small minority of fish will eat fish parts. Cannibalism is only present in approximately 1% of all fish, and the Krabby Patty clearly casts itself a wider net. But even more importantly, we have irrefutable evidence that the Krabby Patty is vegan. The patty itself, mind you, the actual sandwich is vegetarian because it contains cheese. Anyway, according to the show's creator, the late Steven Hillenburg, the Krabby Patty contains no animal parts. It's also been confirmed by a current executive producer, and if you have any doubt about it, here in the Sponge Out of Water movie, we get a close-up of the Krabby Patty being made in real life. That right there has the signature puck shape of a veggie burger. Meaning that the base of the Krabby Patty isn't beef like everyone tends to assume. Instead, those four cups of gish, gish are more likely to be beans. Faba beans, to be exact. According to Dr. Gavin Ramsey, faba beans have the potential to be great protein sources for fish. But, just like we see with beef, too much of a good thing is not always a good thing. Other studies have shown that eating too much faba bean can actually be bad for fish. Sound familiar? Like, maybe someone getting sick enough that they die from consuming too many Krabby Patties against doctor's orders? This does leave us with one major question though. How could the Krabby Patty be a plant-based patty but still contain a pinch of chum? Those two facts seem directly contradictory, but both are coming from irrefutable sources. Well, even though the word chum refers to a mixture of fish guts, by definition it can also refer to chopped up vegetable matter. Vegetable matter like the true secret ingredient in all of this, red algae. You see, one of the main problems with the Krabby Patty being vegan is that plant-based patties lack the natural juices that come from meat patties. And without added sugar, it's also challenging to get those patties to brown. But both of these are well-established characteristics of the Krabby Patty. They're juicy, they brown nice, so we know that there's gotta be something more at play here. And that is where red algae comes in. Thanks to research out of Yamoja, a marine ingredient startup based in Israel, vegans can now experience all the crisping, browning, and bleeding goodness that make meat lovers go wow. By using a specific strain of porphyridium, a type of red algae, Yamoja has created a plant-based meat substitute known as Onye. When cooked, Onye changes color from red to brown, emits a meaty aroma, and has meat-like juices that don't just congeal, they crunch. That is to say, the outside of the burger develops a pleasant, crisp texture when cooked, just like we see happening in the show. Also, this is far from being the first time that we've heard of red algae being consumed for food. If you're a fan of sushi, you're probably familiar with nori, the thin black sheets of seaweed commonly used in sushi rolls. This seaweed is actually a type of red algae. In fact, in the episode Friend or Foe, they outright confirm that seaweed sauce is part of the patty's original recipe. You're the one who put too much seaweed sauce in the burger! So why is Mr. Krabs so dead set on keeping the Krabby Patty secret formula a secret? Is it to avoid competition? Or is it because he's scared of what his customers might think? Mr. Krabs is far from a fool when it comes to business, and he knows that people are notoriously skeptical when it comes to plant-based meat products. He wants to make sure that his burger stays the success it's always been for all these years. Hence why it's all a big secret. What they don't know won't stop him from buying burgers that taste delicious after all, so the fact that his patties are plant-based is something that he'd rather keep under wraps. This is why he's not afraid to pull out all the stops if it means no one finds out about the Krabby Patty's juicy secret. But is it really necessary? I mean, could it be possible that fish actually like red algae and thus would be receptive if not intrigued by a burger containing it? Well, yeah, yeah they do. Some fish are known to actually enjoy red algae as part of their daily diet. In fact, fish are actually known to enjoy and even benefit from many of the ingredients listed in the Krabby Patty. 
Beans, chili peppers, onions, even turmeric, all are things that fish have been known to eat, making it no surprise that they ended up in a successful formula for the Krabby Patty. So there you have it, theorists. That is what's in a Krabby Patty. Four cups of fava beans, one chopped onion, enough breadcrumbs to bind it, liquid smoke, chili pepper, turmeric, one teaspoon of a calcium supplement, flour, salt, seaweed sauce, and lastly, the big secret, red algae extract. And of course, love. The love and pride that one yellow sponge has for his little baby burgers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna live out a childhood fantasy by frying up a double Krabby Patty with the works. 14-year-old me's been wanting to try this one for a while now. In the meantime, remember, if you have yourself a secret formula that needs to be protected from any and all prying eyes, you best be turning to our sponsor for today's video, Simply Safe Home Security. Simply Safe is the award-winning security system that equips your home with cutting-edge technology and then backs that up with highly trained 24-7 monitoring professionals that are ready to dispatch help whenever you need it most. Your safety is not something to take lightly. Sure, I might not have myself a secret burger recipe hidden away in a vault, but I am a D-list online personality who makes people upset with my random musings about Hollow Knight. As such, having a home security system is an investment for my family and our collective peace of mind. There are just a few problems with that, though. Home security systems are historically hard to install and monitoring is expensive. Enter Simply Safe. First of all, they're delivering everything straight to the door of your apartment, house, or pineapple under the sea. That means not having to go through all the headaches and subsequent social awkwardness of scheduling service appointments. And the systems that you can get with Simply Safe are fully customizable to fit your specific needs. They've got indoor and outdoor cameras and entry sensors, of course, like you'd expect, but also glass break sensors for windows, motion detectors that are perfect for large rooms, even things that you wouldn't expect out of a security system like temperature and water sensors for any leaking or bursting pipes, which again is important when you're like me and you've had houses in the past that have had severe flooding problems. Unlike the cast of SpongeBob, some of us don't want water filling up our living room. And setup is just a breeze with clear instructions that make the process efficient and not a bunch of meaningless gibberish that makes it impossible to decipher. True story, one night before we got Simply Safe, we heard a door open in our basement. We froze. We had no idea what to do and we were terrified to go down there. Eventually, we knew we had to do something, so I grabbed the nearest weapon that I could find, which, <laughs> I kid you not, was my son's didgeridoo. Stupid, I know, but it was the nearest thing available to us and I was in a panic. Turned out the door just hadn't been fully shut and the wind just blew the whole thing open. But holding on to a didgeridoo that night taught me how unprepared I was for a situation like this. Now, hearing the chime every time a door opens, or hearing that simply safe on when I arm the system at night, that is the sound of peace of mind. And not only are the products great, the price is great too. Their professional 24-7 home monitoring service is less than a dollar a day. And that means if there is ever any hint of trouble, professional agents are ready to send out police, firefighters, EMTs, whatever you need. Peace of mind for your family, your pets, your stuff for less than a buck a day, it is well worth the cost. And the deal gets even better this time of year because right now you can save up to 40% on your security system during Simply Safe's biggest sale of the year. Visit simplysafe.com slash food theorists to customize a system that fits your personal needs. That's simplysafe.com slash food theorists, which is too long to type into the search bar, so just click the top line of the description and go check out what Simply Safe can do for you. Because at the end of the day, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Just like there are no theories like food theories. Bon appetit, my friends.